Hello, and welcome to Today I Learned Unity, a new series where I teach you about a concept I wish I knew when I was first starting with Unity. The goal is to provide bite-sized lessons with downloadable examples. It is targeted towards more experienced programmers who can use these videos as a filter for Unity's massive scripting API. If you like this content, please like the video or leave a comment so I know whether I should make more. If you have an idea for a good topic, share it with me in the comments. Today's topic is going to be two of Unity's mono behavior functions, awake and start. It's likely that if you've worked with Unity before, you have an idea of what the start function is. You may not, however, know about the very similar awake function and the distinctions between them. Knowing these sorts of things can be super useful when you need a creative solution but don't want to start hacking your code. Awake is called straight away when a script is instantiated, whether or not the script is enabled. Awake takes no parameters and returns void. No guarantees can be made about what order the awake functions will be called on various objects, so no communication should happen between scripts at this point. Awake can be thought of as the constructor for these scripts, as mono behavior does not allow constructors to be called. On the other hand, start is called on the first frame that the script is enabled. It is invoked before the first call to update after the script is enabled. Start also takes in no parameters and returns void. Because all calls to awake happen before any calls to start, we can be sure all objects are instantiated at this point. Both are only ever called once in the life of a scene. However, if a scene is loaded twice, or unloaded, then loaded again, both awake and start will be called an additional time. Start can be used as a coroutine, but awake cannot. I won't go in depth on coroutines in this video, but I can focus on it in another. If you would find that interesting, leave a comment mentioning it. In our first example, we will see how awake gets called before start does. We will also see how we can instigate a call to the start function of another object by enabling it for the first time in the scene. In my second example, we can see a creative way to use start in a way that awake cannot be used. Have you ever booted up a scene with moving objects and thought that it all begins happening too fast? Well, what if we used a coroutine feature of the start function to delay a physics operations for a short bit? Now, after hearing what I've told you so far, you may think, ooh, it sounds like start will get called whenever it's enabled and awake will get called when the object is created. That is only partially true, however. As I mentioned earlier, both start and awake will only ever get called once. If you want to be able to detect every time the script is enabled, you should use another mono behavior function instead called onEnable. This example shows how when we begin the scene, start is called only once, but on enable is called every time the object is enabled. On enable has a sister function called on disable, which does what you would expect it to do. Both on enable and on disable work in the editor as well if we use the execute in edit mode tag. I use a toggle script here to alternatively enable and disable the object and it looks like this. It's toggling every one and a half seconds. Thank you for watching this video. If you found this content interesting, leave a like, comment, or subscribe for more. If you want to watch me do game development live, I do live streams nearly every day on Twitch. Link will be in the description.